While the expansion of air travel has made the world a smaller place, it's also facilitated the spread of diseases. While jumping on an airplane and jetting away can get you anywhere you need to go fast in close quarters, you can be exposed to every cough and sneeze of your fellow passengers. In fact, according to one study, travelers are up to 100 times more likely to contract a cold while flying. So how do you protect yourself from germs like viruses and bacteria on a plane? Well, keep watching today's video, because we'll tell you the ways that you can protect yourself from these harmful germs. From carrying your own hand sanitizer, bringing your own water bottle, not touching your face, to keeping your air vents on, and many more. Watch till the end to see them all. Number 1. Clean and sanitize surface areas. Aircraft cabins are usually cleaned when the plane stays overnight at the airport. Because the flu virus can last up to 24 hours on hard surfaces, germs can linger between flights. Sometimes, germs can last up to seven days on a flight. This means when you sit down, the germs on your seat, armrest, tray table, seat belt, and seat pockets could have been infected as much as a week earlier. With a domestic plane flying eight or more segments a day, that's up to 56 people who could have left behind something icky where you're now sitting. You can touch a contaminated surface and then unwittingly touch your eyes, nose, and mouth. About 80% of all infectious diseases are actually introduced by ourselves in this way. Fun fact, did you know that humans touch their faces about 200 times a day? A package of sanitizing wipes only cost a few dollars at the drug or grocery store. You can even find travel sizes that easily slip into a pocket in your purse or backpack. Remember to wipe down the following. Armrests. Shared by everyone, but easy to clean if you have your wipes. Seat belts and seat buckles. Everyone touches at least twice per flight, often more. Seat pocket. We understand these seat pockets can be tricky to clean, thanks in part to the porous fabric. Wipe it down, but it's best not to use it. You may want to use your own bag under the seat to store your reading materials. Tray table. Considered the most germ-infested part of the whole plane, it has up to eight times more germs and bacteria than the flush button in the airplane bathroom. Touchscreen Entertainment Center These are frequently handled and rarely cleaned. They're the first thing most people handle after returning from the restroom. Yes, even before their seatbelt, surprisingly. Give it a solid wipe down and avoid it entirely. Also, if you ever have to go to the bathroom, remember to bring your pack of wipes to wipe down the seat, flush button, and the sink. Enjoying this video so far? Well, there's more good stuff ahead. But before continuing, subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Number 2. Choose a window seat. The aisle seats put you in a more vulnerable position with all of those potentially sick passengers walking and sneezing past. Plus, people may steady themselves by grabbing your headrest when heading to the restroom where, to make matters worse, the hand washing conditions are not ideal. A study looked at a Boston to LA flight that had to make an emergency landing due to a norovirus outbreak, which caused vomiting and diarrhea in some passengers. What researchers discovered was that passengers in the aisle seats, even those who had never left their seats, were most likely to have contracted the virus. Number 3. Get plenty of rest before your flight. As soon as you step on that plane, your body is about to endure a gauntlet of germs from all over the world. You need to make sure it's in its best condition. Getting plenty of sleep the night before your flight is one of the best things you can do to make sure your immune system is performing at its peak. Try to get a solid seven to eight hours of sleep the night before. Number four, stay hydrated and bring your own water bottle. One of the most important things you can do to stay healthy during a flight is keep hydrated. This will allow your body's natural fighting mechanisms to work properly and keep your mucous membranes in your throat and nasal passages from drying out. Try to drink at least eight ounces of water every one hour of flight. This is far more than you probably drink at home, but it is important because of the increased speed of dehydration during flight. The easiest thing to do is to bring your own reusable water bottle rather than buying one. Most airports now have water bottle filling stations where you can fill up your bottle for free. Not only is this better for the environment, but you're more likely to drink more water if you don't have to pay $3 for it. Fill it up before your plane boards so that you have a full bottle before takeoff. 
Then you won't need to ask a flight attendant during the flight for water. On long, international flights, the bottle can be useful in getting more water. You can take your bottle to the galley at the back of the plane and ask if they can fill up your bottle. This is far easier than getting a 3-ounce cup of water 100 times during the flight. Number 5. Let other passengers board first. It's not just aboard airplanes that travelers should be cautious of flu germs. Thousands of passengers also pass through major airports across the country every day, standing close together in tightly packed lines. Try to be patient when you're boarding an airplane if you want to prevent the spread of germs. People are grouped together in the boarding process, which makes it more likely they're going to transmit a virus to each other. Just let the people board first and give yourself a moment. Number 6. Keep your air vent on. While you might think that sitting in recycled air for hours could cause you to be sick, keeping your air vent on can actually prevent it. There's been some research that showed that using the overhead air vent directed straight down can create a cone of protection. It can actually prevent airborne germs from getting close to you. The airflow from the vent can help ward off another passenger's sneeze germs. In fact, the high-efficiency particulate air, or HEPA filters found on airplanes, remove at least 99.97% of any airborne viruses and bacteria. That air is also getting refreshed about 20 times per hour. An office only gets refreshed about 10 times. Number 7. Avoid the bathroom. Although you should stay properly hydrated, you should also try to avoid using the bathroom if possible. It's the most commonly used part of the plane, and the flush button has a high concentration of germs. If you do have to use the restroom, use paper towels to cover anything you touch, such as a seat, flush button, and door handle. Then dispose of it while exiting the restroom. Additionally, make sure you wash your hands and avoid touching the handles or door on the way out. It's not a bad idea to follow up with some travel-sized hand sanitizer for a second round of germ fighting. Number 8. Wash your hands frequently. It's important to wash your hands frequently with soap and water that can get rid of pathogens. Because on average, people touch their faces, noses, mouths, and eyes between 5 to 16 times an hour. The best way to avoid contracting illness-borne germs is to wash your hands with soap and water. While washing, take 30 seconds to clean in between your fingernails and under your fingernails, areas that germs hide because people often miss cleaning. But even on the way back to your seat, you may be touching doors, doorknobs, and seats along the way, so it's still a good idea to use hand sanitizer at your seat before eating or sweeping your hair from your face. Number 9. Stash items near the top of the seat back pocket. One of the first things that you may do when you settle into your seat is stash your stuff like your cell phone or earbuds that come in contact with your skin into the seat pocket in front of you. The best thing that you can do is to avoid putting your hand all the way into the pocket, because you don't know what's down there. If possible, keep your items toward the top of the pocket rather than letting them slip all the way down, where they're sure to mingle with food crumbs, dirty tissues, and who knows what else. Or you could always just skip using the seat back pocket in the first place. Number 10. Avoid touching your face. While most people think that you get sick from germs entering your mouth, you're actually far more likely to get sick from germs entering your eyes and nose. Avoid putting your hands on your face or rubbing your eyes. If you must, such as people who have contacts, then just remember to use hand sanitizer before you do. If you use a sleep mask, make sure you're careful where you put it. First of all, bring your own and don't use the airlines. Second, Keep your own carry-on bag when not in use. Don't set it down on the potentially dirty seat or tray table between uses. Number 11. Skip the adult beverages. Drinking alcohol during a flight can further speed up the process of dehydration that's already started. With the lower levels of oxygen in your brain, the effects of alcohol are greatly increased and your liver will begin to work harder to process the toxins in your system. All of this further takes strength away from your immune system, making you more likely to contract something. Coffee is another drink that's best skipped because it speeds up dehydration. For a healthier option, try drinking tea instead. If you're the type of person that turns your nose up at most airline tea, which usually consists of Lipton black tea and maybe a no-name herbal variety, you can always bring your own bag of tea and just ask for some hot water on the flight. Do you have any hygiene rituals when you're flying? Does it include any of the tips that we mentioned? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you.
Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy!